Y vamos a hablar ahora del vehículo que está teniendo un éxito, uno de los vehículos que está teniendo un éxito tremendo para Ford Motor Company, que es la Escape, la SUV compacta, que debutó en el 2012 con una serie de innovaciones tecnológicas, como por ejemplo en la capacidad de poder abrir el portón trasero simplemente con la simulación de una patada por debajo de la defensa, que ha sido una de las uh, tecnologías mucho más avanzadas, más aceptadas por los consumidores acá en Estados Unidos. Así que vamos a escuchar un poco más los detalles sobre la nueva Ford Escape 2014. And now with Imran uh, Jalal, did Jalal, I say it right? His name is Imran Jalal, correct. Jalal, Jalal. Okay. And he's uh, the marketing uh, director for the new Escape. Too. Yes, correct. I am the marketing manager for Escape. I manage the U.S. market. So a couple new things for this car. I mean, in 2013. I mean, we're still in 2013, but that's an old car already, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 way, the, way, the way we've done it is, I mean, the, 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 the Escape that you're looking at, the brand new Escape, was launched in 2012 calendar, in the middle of 2012 calendar year, as, as a 13 model year. And, and this vehicle is an extremely well so far in the U.S. In fact, for the 13th calendar year to the month of May, Escape is the number one selling SUV in America. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. It has a, a, a lot of cool features, right? Absolutely. And in fact, one neat feature that we have is what we call as the hands-free foot-activated lift kit. It's a class-exclusive feature, and this feature comes available in titanium. And the way the feature works is as long as you have the key fob somewhere in your position, And it's just like kicking a soccer ball, just kick it underneath the bumper and the lift gate opens up. That technology, if I understand correctly, comes from uh, video games, right? I, I, I'm not sure about, I'm not 100% sure about the video games. Uh, yes, it's available in video games, but one of, one of the luxury uh, manufacturers came up with it and then uh, Ford followed suit with C-Max and Escape and uh, this feature is very well received so far. Yeah, another thing of uh, the great things about uh, Escape is that that engine, that 1.6 engine, that's, yes. a, that's a pretty small uh, engine. Huh? It is, it's a small engine, but with a lot of power. I mean, it's, it's got, uh, it, 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 the, the fuel economy uh, is, is over 30 miles, over 30 miles on the highway, and it's an EcoBoost turbo engine. Uh, it, it gets over 170 horsepower, a lot of torque. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an engine that's greatly received. In the, in the market yeah and uh, obviously for that that uh, that that size of vehicle that's more than enough power uh, absolutely that, that that's why that, that that's one of the more uh, most popular engine that we have in the lineup yeah and uh, here we are testing uh, the competitors the crv uh -huh. we have also what else do we have here we, we have the crv we have the rav4 yes correct yeah uh, Pretty good vehicles too. I mean, the competition is pretty tough in this segment. Uh, absolutely, and in fact, the small SUV segment is one of the toughest segments we have in the U.S. In fact, there are over 20 different uh, brands or, or, or lineups we have um, in this segment from various competitions. So, uh, Escape just 20. like 20 different nameplates oh in this God. segment. Yep, and and that's why I said it's it's, it's a great. Uh, Thing for me and, and for Ford Motor Company that Escape is the number one selling uh, SUV in that segment. That's pretty amazing. Yes. So even though we're still in the 13 uh, kind of year, yes, we're already showing the 2014 vehicle, right? Yes, I mean, I, I, because the 14 got released, dealers uh, uh, do have it already in their inventory and we did make some small changes between 13 and 14 Marley like for example in 13 Marley we had a four series lineup we had S, SE, SEL and Titanium and for 14 Marley we kind of streamlined it we just have S, SE and Titanium and then also the, the big news is we also made rear view camera standard now across all three uh, escape series before the government uh, mandates it yes yeah. exactly <laughs> absolutely good good, 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 good question that yes the government is going to mandate this I believe in the next year or two but we went ahead and made it a uh, standard across all three series wow that's amazing well here. and being here in the proving grounds and the headquarters of Ford Motor Company I'm sure behind those walls that I can see there's something cooking for uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ford's a great company. We love our customers. We love our dealers. And we always want to surprise them. We always want to build the cars that are, are tested, engineered, uh, and, and built. And, and, and that's our goal. And yes, there will always be surprises uh, for everybody. Thank you very much for, uh, for your time and uh, experience here at the Proving Grounds of Ford. It's always fun to come here. It's a show very complete, a lot of information. We were in Miami and Detroit. We were talking about the analizar los estudios eh, que nos da la industria, así que bueno, mucha información, seguimos en Detroit esta semana, vamos a traer la más información después sobre Chrysler la próxima semana y otros productos de por así que gracias a DJK y en los controles, esto ha sido Auto 060, yo soy Javier Moca y los espero en la siguiente edición de Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network.
Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.